izina ryo witeka rihabwe icyubahiro may the name of the almighty be glorified eh, twabonye ubushize ibyo ibigaragaza uh, umuntu uri mu buretwe cyangwa si bimenyetso last time we saw the signs of, the, of a person who is in ibimwe mu byo twabonye harimo kugira uh, kubura ku, ku, amahoro ugahoro utagira amahoro muri wowe numunezero kandi waramenye Kristo utanga amahoro one of the things we saw is lacking peace and joy yet Jesus gives peace and joy icyakabiri ni uguhora intege nke zo gusenga no kudasabana n'Imana the second thing is having weakness in your prayer life or having the third one we saw is living a life of failure. And the fourth thing is not having favor of your life. We'll continue with the fifth part. The fifth thing is not having a revelation of dreams. Not having a revelation. A life without revelation. The devil, what he does, when he comes over your life, the thing that is still from you, or puts you in slavery, is he, he, he kills your revelation. The, the, the revelation of your life, you live, ari, 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 you lived as the day comes. You do not think of your future. You have no vision for your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He kills that vision over your life. He puts you in slavery. Because the first thing that God gives his people is to reveal to him where he's taking you. You ought to walk with God with the vision for your life. You ought to walk with God knowing what God wants over your life. But many people the devil stole the vision. He stole their dreams. But in this time God wants to give you back your vision. Receive it again in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Job. In Job chapter 33. Verses 14. And 15. Let's get to 16. 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 Ijihe awa nwa shizgue yo wa sinziriye kumariri yao. Niho yumvisha amatuki ya wa anu iga shira ichimenye tso kubyo ibijish. Verse 14, for God does speak now one way, now another, though no one perceives it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God speaks one way or the other. Through the dreams at night. Through the vision. Because the devil knows this. A lot of people he, 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 he People live without dreams in them. When you dream, you find that you've forgotten. Or you find that it's mixed things. Then you're always someone who, has, who they have compassion on. Yet there's something that God has put over your life. When someone does not have a vision, they cause chaos around people because they don't know what God wants for them. They become a problem. They become a problem within the society. When, they, when you do not have vision, you have fear of your future. But when you have a vision, even though they, have, they don't have a point, because they have a future, they have hope. And they also give hope to others. Hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor, today your vision is going to come back in the name of Jesus. Your realm is going to open up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Chindi, Another thing, iyo yereko, when you do not have vision, buria, uh, you cannot receive prophecy over your life without vision. Yereko, uh, people who have vision, 
nibo usanga bahagaciro ubuhanuzi buba buri ku buzima bwe they the ones who value prophecy over their lives kubera ko akenshi because many times imana ivugana nawe mu buhanuzi god speaks to them in prophecy iza gukonfirma ibyo yari yarakubwiye cyangwa se ibyo yakweretsa kenshi and confirms the things that he has told you assured ikaba yanyura mu mukozi w'imana cyangwa se mu ijambo ryayo they may go it may go through the servant of god or his word and ibyo yavuze ku buzima bwawe confirm what he said over your life kugira ngo so that habeho abahamya babiri two witnesses hallelujah hallelujah kugira ngo habe habahamya so that there will be witnesses bemeza ichimana ishaka gukora ku buzima bwa will confirm what god wants to do over your life ariko impamvu tudaha gaciri ubuhanuzi ku buzima bwa the reason why we do not value prophecy is that our visions are not on the earth ariko uiteka arashaka kongera kuguhemba he wants to redeem you arashaka kongera gukora ubuzima bwa he wants to work in your life again arashaka kongera kukwambika imbaraga he wants to strengthen you again wakiri yerekwa ku buzima bwa we mwizina rya yesu this vision of your life in the name Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ichi nicho Satana za. Another thing akadushira mu buretwa kwera ko umuntu abari mu buretwa abayisraheli bari mu buretwa bari baranibagiwe bari baranibagiwe imana yabasokuruza babo kwera ki bari bari mu buretwa bari bababaye bari bari mu gahinda kenshi imana ihagurutse umuhanuzi mose arongera araza arababwira ngo imana irabibutse remembered you ariko ntibanabyumva kwera ko bari bari mu buretwa bwinshi ariko imana but god yari fite umugambo ukomeye mana rero akubwiye ngo ivugana nawe mu nzozi cyangwa mu yereko igihe abantu bashyizwe ariko icyo satani yakoze iyerekwa ryawe yararyishye he killed your vision urota wirukankana nimbwa you run being chased by dogs urota nyamaswa zikwirukansa you dream when animals are chasing you urota wapfuye you dream when you're dead cyangwa se nuna rote nibyo warose ugasanga biravanga vanze or you don't dream or dream mixed things ariko imana but god yibutse umugambi wayo ku buzima bwa has remembered his plan over imana yibutse umugambi wayo ku buzima bwa has remembered his plan over your life ibukuye hiyo iyo mitwaro mwanzi yagushize ho remove the burdens that the enemy ugiye kugendana n'imana you're going to walk with umvijwe ry'Imana ubona ikimana ikubwira ukirebesha amaso yawe uzaho Imana igutwara kuko Imana yongeye kuzura yerekwa muri wowe mu izina rya Yesu haleluya haleluya inambara turwana nazo umuswa wundi nitorero as a church ni zaba kristo badafita mayereko is the, those of christians that do not have vision na ni yumva nibyo umukozi w'Imana mubwiye they do not hear what the servant of god is telling ni zo ntambara turimo that is, that's the battle we're in satana rabizi the devil knows ko nusobanukirwa that if you understand hari ibintu byinshi bizakurwa ku buzima many things that will be removed over your life hari ibintu byinshi bizakurwa ku buzima bwawe there are many things that will be removed over your life and he will he will take a loss ariko imana yamanutse but god has come down buzima bwawe over your life kugira ngo yongere ifungure that he may open again yere kwa ryawe mu izina rya yesu your vision in the name of jesus ikindi cyakatandatu the sixth thing cyagatandatu the sixth thing eh kigaragaza umuntu uri mu buretwa that shows a person who's under slavery no kubaho mu buzima bw'icyaha kandi waramenye Yesu is living a life of sin yet you know Jesus kubaho mu buzima bw'icyaha living a life of sin hallelujah hallelujah ahanga harimo ibintu bibiri here there are two things hari abantu the people abaho abaho mu buzima bw'icyaha kandi yaramenye Yesu who live a life of sin yet they know Jesus akaba yarahindutse umunyedina adashaka no guhinduka they become religious and they don't want to change akaba bizi ko abaho mu buzima bw'icyaha they know that they live a life of sin hari nundi and then there's another uhora ameze nk'umuntu uri mu buretwa who always who looks like they're always in slavery akamera nka bya bindi paulo yavuze ngo ngerageza gukora ibyiza ariko ibi bikankanga imbere they become like that person paul said i want to do good but that comes ka, over me kamere ka kunaniye that your sin nature has failed akaba harakantu kakagoza satani yashize kukuhuru kwawe there's a rope that the devil has tied on your leg when you're about to take a step forward he pulls that rope he brings you back that time of fellowship with god you feel like it has been touched that is slavery that those are burdens but god wants to remove them from you hallelujah hallelujah say amen if you have faith say amen 
if you have faith in this. God wants to remove you from slavery. You cannot walk with God in this year without God showing changes in your life. When what, go, what the devil whispered to you and said it is impossible and said you you cannot change. But tell your neighbor you have to change in the name of Jesus. That sin nature is not of God. He said it has to go back to who Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That slavery of sin is what God wants to remove in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you read in Titus, Titus chapter 2, Titus chapter 2, Titus chapter 2, verse 7. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Haravugango kuko ubu nubgi imana bu zanira ba nubo saga chiza bugabo net. Utkwi jisha kureka kutuba himana nira rigibjisi. Buka tkwi jisha kuja tkwi rinda. Duchira anuka tkuba himana mujecha anon. Verse 11. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. Amen. 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 Clap your hands to God in the name of Jesus. Ubunu Grace utuzanira brings to us kubahimana. honoring God. Ubunu Grace does not take us back into sin. Ubunu Grace does not take us into slavery. Ubunu Grace cannot say we have been saved, we are now, we cannot that. That is slavery. And the lies of the devil. That is slavery. Satan that the devil put his people. Satan the devil convinced people that be saved. Be baptized in many waters. And then come back to sin. That is how the teachings of grace are. But God has come to remove you from that slavery in the You're name of Jesus. You're going to have faith in it. That God has come to remove you from Kuko that slavery. Because your heart wants to go abroad. There are times you want to leave this thing. But, but the devil and convinces you that it's normal. This is not normal. It is not normal. We ought to honor God at this time. We should not go back to sin. Yet we left sin. Living a life of sin. Yet you know Jesus Christ is a sign that shows that a person is under the slavery of the devil. But God wants to remove God wants to remove you from that slavery. 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 In the name of Jesus. The last thing as we conclude. The seventh thing. Imana igukuyeho that God has removed over you that shows a person in slavery is the spirit of laziness. The spirit of laziness that the devil has, has pushed. The spirit of laziness. Especially with Christians. These powers have, have, have taken us. There are many things that we do not attain. There are blessings that we are not receiving that are ours. Not that God has not spoken. But instead it's that spirit that's taken over your life. You're always postponing things tomorrow, tomorrow. Let us read Proverbs chapter 6 verse 3. Up until 8. Till verse 9. Kandi ujirubgenji, nichijira umotkware changu jisonga, changwa shewuj, 
ariko kigihunika eh, ibyo kurya byacyo muki kandi mwisarura kikishakira ibigitunga uzasinzira ugeze ryari wa munyabutewe uzakanguka ryari verse 6 go to the ant you sluggard consider its ways and be wise it has no commander no overseer or ruler yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest how long will you lie there you sluggard when you when will you get up from your sleep amen kumurongo wa 10 ngo utihenga nsinzire gato nihweture kanzinya kandi nifunya pfunye nsinzire nuko ubukene buzakugeraho nk'umwambuze nubutindi bugutere nk'ingabo verse 10 a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man Vuga ngo wa mwuka w'ubunebwewe. Say you spirit of Umbuza kugera aho uwiteka ashaka kongera. That stops me from getting to where the Umbuza kugera mu masezerano. That tell me Rekuru buzima bwanje. Release my life. Kuko uwiteka ari mu ruhande rwanje. Because the almighty is on my side. rya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Komera imana amashimwe izina rya Yesu. God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Uyu ni umwuka ushiza abantu benshi mu buretwa. This is a spirit that has put many people in slavery. Uyu ni umwuka ushiza urubyiruko mu buretwa. This is a spirit that has put the youth in slavery. Uyu ni umwuka unanije abantu kugera mu masezerano. This is a spirit that has won up people from Tugahora dutegereje ngo Imana yaravuze. We are always waiting that God has said. Imana yaravuze ku buzima bwanjye. God has said over my life. Imana yaravuze ko nzaba umunyengana. That God has said I will be an industrialist. Ariko ryama amasaha 18. But I sleep 18 hours. Amasaha yose all the hours you're asleep. That is a spirit that has won your life. Iman Haricho Vuganyan. God has spoken to me. Ariko Nachi Nunachimi Uju Jarajaza Gukora. But the Cherekimana ko u but there's nothing you do that shows God that you have valued what he has said over your life. The spirit of laziness. The spirit of laziness. These are powers that have put people under slavery. But in, in this month of July, God is ready to remove these powers. God is re ready to remove these powers that has worn out your life for a long time. It has caused you to know Zatumye utareba aho aho imana itegu ubuzima bwawe. Let's cause you to not see where God has prepared. Hallelujah. 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 Uyu niwo mwuka wica. This is a spirit that kills. Uko twatangiye tubivuga. The way we've started saying. Na mayere kwa yabantu. It kills the visions of people zizao. and your dreams. Kandi, and ugasanga, you find zibakenshi kuwa Christo. these powers are mostly on Christians. Zinani Christo. It wears Christians out. Ugasanga umuntu yari umu ya ari akanuka kunda there's a thing that surprises that shocks me a lot. And I always speak of it. You find that someone is a pagan. They had a lot of faith. More than they had. They used to do things with strength. If it fails today, he tries the next day. They had zeal. He would ignore those who they use all their power. They would call everywhere. They would seek. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's shameful and so For someone who now knows Jesus Christ, the one that has authority over everything, that has power over everything you had hoped in, you find that they don't even want to do the things that they used to do. But for us as Christians, we think that everything will work itself out, will work itself out. We always say, it will it out. We are always looking for free things. But this is a spirit Satan that the devil has caused over the children of God. But our God who is very merciful wants to remove that spirit in the name of Jesus. He wants to walk with you. And he knows that you are powerful. Hallelujah. 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 This is a spirit that has worn out Christians. 
Umunagashaka Muzima. You want to live a life. Agashaka Kuba Muzima of Gitchinoma. You want to live a life of lies. Agashaka Kuba Muzima of Kishushan. You want to live a life of, 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 of lies. Querekana Ukutari, Querekan image Ukutari. Showing an image of who you're not. Kandi. Yet. If you give your wifuza. The things that you desire. Imana Ariad of Guteguri. God had already prepared for you. But the spirit of lessons Wakuna Nijekuijera has won you out. Wakuna Nijeguhanga has won you out that you cannot fight. And you cannot battle. Wakuna Nijeguteri and that you cannot take that step. Ariku Mugoro. But this evening, Imani Rashaka Kuvio Kamizina. God wants you to wake up in the name of Jesus. Imani Rashaka Kuva Movitots. God wants you to leave that sleep. Imani Rashaka Kuva Movitots. God wants you to leave that sleep. Imani Rashaka Kuva Movitots. God wants you to leave that sleep. Imani Rashaka Kuva Movitots. He wants you to leave that sleep. Ukamba Rimbaraga. And close yourself with power. Because everything that is good. God has prepared it for you. Everything that is good is over you. And God wants to give it to you. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The spirit of laziness is a bad spirit. It is a spirit that has distracted many people. It is a spirit that has killed many people's promises. It is a spirit that has killed many people's Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In, in Proverbs, Solomon says, he saw it. You know that Solomon is the one that wrote the book of Proverbs. A big portion is Solomon's, but also he wrote. He, he looked at an ant. The way it builds. And the, and the wisdom it uses. He saw how he builds how it builds its anthills so that it might, it might, it might, it might sustain doing it and rain. it uses a lot of power you see that where the anthills are many anthills you see, you see how stable it is during the time of, of sun it's very, it's very hard an ant builds this because it knows during the time of rain the rain will not break it down. The second thing it does it, it, it packs food inside. It does that during the time. It puts the food that it will eat but during the time of rain it goes, it goes down inside those holes and it has food that then he compared it to our own lives. He compared it to how children of God they want to live a life of laziness and not working and not searching. Then afterwards he said poverty will come to you it will come like a thief because it will shock you one day it will come and it will follow you you will find that you are not prepared your future you do not focus on your future you, you continue to look at your present then after you will have the spirit of complaining to God the devil knows this very well and that is why he causes us this why he causes us this spirit of Christians, we are always weak. We are always putting our hands we out. We are always asking for compassion. We want to be babied all the time. Christians, we always want people to, 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 to anoint us. God has removed those powers in the name of Jesus. This evening, God has removed those powers. This is what God has done over your life. Truly have faith in this thing. You should have faith in this thing. Because the person who is going to have faith in this, in this month of July, they are going to see the goodness of God. They are going to see 
agiye kubona kurabagirana kuwite agiye kubona uburyo agiye kurabagirana kuwite haleluya haleluya ufate ibi bintu birindwi twabonye nurangiza uje ubisengeramo nurangiza buri kintu cyose gifite 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 kote positif yacyo everything has its positive side kubaho mu buzima budafite amahoro to live a life without without peace wakira mahoro mu izina rya Yesu receive peace in the name of Jesus haleluya amen umubare wa karindwi uravuga ngo ibintu bitunganyije rwose the number 7 means perfection ibintu bitunganyije rwose things that are perfect imana irashaka kubaho mu mahoro god wants you to live in peace numuneze and enjoy icya kabiri the second thing imana irashaka kubaho mu buzima bwo gutsinda god wants you to live a life of victory imana yavuga ngo david nigeza atsindwa the word of god said that intambara zose yarwanye yaratsinda every battle he fought he had kristo nigeza atsindwa jesus never lost kandi yarabwa ngo niba ubgatagipfuye nange singipfuye and it says because i did not he did not rero kubaho mu buzima bwo gutsinda that i may live a life of victory icya gatatu the third thing kubaho mu buzima bwo masengesho living a life of prayer ubeho mu buzima bwa masengesho live a life of prayer Ichakane. The fourth thing. Uh, kujira ijikundiro. To have favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ichikundiro chize kubuzi mabgawe mizina jayos. May favor be upon your life in the name of Jesus. Ichakatano. The fifth thing. Uh, to have a life that has vision. You will know your future. You will see your future. You will understand your future. It will cause you to not live a life of complaint. Hallelujah. 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 Living a life of righteousness. Because the word of God tells us in Titus that the grace that we receive is that we may live a life of honor in God that we may walk in victory. The last thing to, to live a life Kubaduka, like a gazelle. Kubaduka. Like a gazelle who rushes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you're powerful at all times. Caleb told Joshua. I have 85 years. But I still have those strengths. When we went to spy. I still have that strength. Joshua was compassionate over him. But you old man, do you see this thing? Do you see you can fight with the, those old But he said do not have because the powers that I have are the ones that I have now. I will attack and I will be victorious. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. God does not care about the age that you have. He has given you the spirit of being like the spirit of having the horse. That spirit like the over eagle. He has closed you with strength. And in this month of July become a complete person. Person, the people who and see we will fight 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 and see Working without putting effort, without putting a lot of logic, because it has been done by the power of God, because it has been done by the hand of God, because it has been done by the hand of God Almighty, receive that power in the name of Jesus, receive this power in the name of Jesus, receive this power in the name of Jesus, receive this power in the name of Jesus, may the slavery be removed of your life, the slavery that the devil has put over your life, let it be removed over your life. Enjoy your Canaan. Live in 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 Canaan